You're a private investigator? <clears throat> Look, there's 20 bucks in there, all right? Just take it. No, I'm not here for that, I told you. You and an old hired me. Yeah. If we can do this the easy way, we can do it the Glenn. hard way. What? Lily Glenn, two ends. Old lady hired me to find her niece on Tuesday. You just gave up your client. I made a discretionary revelation. No, no, you just gave her up. I asked you one simple question. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You gave me all the information. I thought that's what you wanted. What? Now, I'm very sorry that you didn't get the message. <clears throat> I get it. I dig it. What about now? Give me your left arm. Huh? Your left arm. Give me your left arm. This one. No! Yeah, come on. No! No! Right, look, when you're talking to your doctor, just tell him you have a spiral fracture of the left radius. No! No! Deep breath. No! If I have an apple. Ah. Um, if you could talk me through kind of how the film came together, I mean, where did the idea come from and how did it make it from the page to rolling? <clears throat> well, the idea um, comes from the year 2000 when my writing partner, Anthony Baga, Rosie and myself just decided that it'd be fun to try something. Uh, we didn't even know quite what, but characters where I would start it. We said, I'll take one character, I'll just do a private eye. You, you write your private eye and then we'll stick them together. Um, the problem is that you can't just each write a character. <laughs> they have to talk at some point. You have to divvy up the work. So we ended up concocting this, this two-hander uh, set in present day, which no one wanted at first. Joel, of course, was the proponent for this thing and continued to push it in various iterations over the years. TV show, this and that. We just, we had middling luck. Um, but I did this thing, Iron Man 3, and it did fairly well. And uh, as a result of that, they said, well, you know, there's a couple doors open for you. Where would you like to go? Oh, please. Back to Joel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dr. Malik, would you like a cookie? Just baked him. There's none left. I looked, remember? No, there's a couple. Doctor? I could be persuaded. After I have a look at Sleeping Beauty. <sighs> Nurse Holly. What are you doing? Are you crazy? There are handcuffs behind the bar. Get them. This is really slowing me down, Holly. How did you get involved in the film? I think I was extremely lucky. Uh, the film and the idea and the script has been floating around for something like 20 years, so I think I was lucky that they decided to make it when I was the perfect age for the role. Um, I auditioned twice in Australia and then they liked it, so they flew me to LA where I did my final audition. And um, how was it making the film? It looks like a lot of fun from watching it. What was it like to make it? It was as fun as the film, but 10 times more because in the serious scenes, we were all laughing as well and just cracking jokes and both Ryan and Russell are hilarious together. What would they like to work with Ryan and Russell? It was phenomenal. I mean, they're both so talented and experienced and They've been in the industry a long time, so they really know what they're doing. So it was just really great to watch them work together and to work with them myself. You're the guy who beat up my dad. Hey, no. Sucker punched your dad. Big difference. But don't worry. He just did it for money. <laughs> you beat people up and charge money? Yeah. Sad, isn't it? That's really your job? Yeah. No way. Yeah. So um, how much would you charge to beat up my friend Janet? What? How much you got? 30 bucks. Oh, 30 bucks. Apple pie. Is she a big girl? She's tall. All right, Super annoying. Apple pie. She's always mean to me. Just eat That's dollars. good. This conversation no is over. I mean, obviously, you two have a long working relationship. So whenever you're creating something, um, is that always the first port of call? You know, it, it, it tends to be because, you know, um, there are periods where someone will bring me a property, and for instance, they'll already own it. If I want to do it, I can't do that one with Joel. But when I can, I will because it, Joel tends to get me and what I like to, to do. The sensibility in the films that we both enjoy, that we grew up with, I think are largely the same. He has a great voice, a very singular voice, Shane. And it's, and it's nice now that he's directing to be able to be the one who brings that voice to the, 
know, to, 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 yeah. to, you know, to the screen. And, and, and look, I mean, I love the movie. I think it's the best one we've ever done. And I, and I think that, uh, you know, we, we lucked out with Shane and Russ, uh, with Russell and Ryan. They're fantastic in the picture. And I think the whole team was great. And, and, and uh, we've been together for many years, but I think that, you know, we've kind of finally figured out the way to do things so that we really, ne- we, 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 look, we butt heads, of course, as everyone does, but right. we, uh, we did get through Did you see the Joel rant online <laughs> at all? There's a, he does this thing where he's acting. Uh, it's online, and he screams and screams and screams. That's how things get done. <laughs> That's our team. First of all, I want to say thank you. <clears throat> We've been watching interviews, and it sounds like you might have saved my daughter's life. That was mostly Holly. His daughter. It's genetics. I need your help. I want to know if I can trust you. I'm kind of getting the idea that, you know, you might not have much choice. Well, my situation is very delicate. I... That's where I know you from, right? The TV. You're prosecuting that that car company thing. The lawsuit for the catalytic converter, yes. That's half my day. The other half I spend on pornography. What kind? Like which films? What's your favorite? No, no. <laughs> no anti, anti-porn. Right. Like a crusader. Should I be writing this down? Yeah, write it down. The Vegas mob is trying to spread its porn operation to Hollywood Boulevard. And I'm doing everything I can to stop it. Thank you. Porn is bad. It's a fabulous cast, obviously led by Russell and Ryan. I mean, were they always in mind or? No. No, No, I mean, thank God that we forewent some possibilities, you know, potentially a TV show at one point and, and waited till we got this perfect cast. They're fantastic. They're real actors, real weight, gravitas. They create a very soulful kind of relationship that feels heartfelt and organic and real, and yet they're funny as hell. And how is Shane Black? Obviously, he's done some pretty big films in this time. Yeah, um, it was great to work with him, too. He's a really energetic director. He will always come to set with energy, but also with a clear idea of what he wants in the scene. So um, that was really good. And also, he would leave some room to improvise, so he would tell me to make stuff up or tell Ryan to make stuff up and usually I ended up in giggles. <laughs> Don't get upset, I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to ask you a question. Hey, no. How stupid do you think I am? Ever since your little visit the other day, this little baby's gonna stay right here. Finally, what have you guys got coming up next? What are you up to after you finish working on this? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing another Sherlock picture. Right? That'd be nice. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're we're trying to put that one together now for the fall, which would be nice to do. And uh, and I'm doing the the Predator and reimagining for 2018 of the Predator franchise that uh, Joel and I were part and parcel of way back in 1986, right when we first met. You're the world's worst detective. The world's worst. March. Nobody got hurt. People got hurt. I'm saying I think they died quickly, though, so I don't think that they got hurt. Come on!